hi guys ready made here welcome back to my channel and please subscribe if you haven't already done so so today we're going to learn how to sew a singlet crop top and the first thing i'm going to do is to take my shoulder to nipple measurement but since this is an off shoulder top i'm going to take out six and a half inches and start taking my measurement from there on the tip so i'm going to mark my um, bust measurement my bust line rather which is 11.5 inches and i drew the line out then for my armhole i'm going to mark out 10.5 and extend that line so since um this is an off shoulder i'm using my across front measurement which is 10 divided by 2 that's 5 so i marked that out too and i'm going to connect that to my armhole line then for my bust measurement, I'm using it. My bust measurement is actually 9 if I divide it, but I took out 1 inch because the material is very stretchy. So I minused 1 inch from my measurement and I did the same thing for my waist measurement. But for my waist, I minused 1.5 because I wanted it to be actually very tight. So then I um, joined those lines together and then connected, to, connected my armhole to the um, across front line. Then for the depth of the neck, I came down by 3 inches and I marked that out and connected it too. So after that, I'm just going to cut this out. This is for my front piece. I'll cut it out. Then there's a dart in front of the top. There's the dart for the styling spot I'm using. So I'm going to mark out my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 5 divided by 2. That's 2.5. I mark that. I'm not using any allowance for this top because, like I said, the material is very, very stretchy. So I'm not adding allowance anywhere. So I um drew a straight line, and then I cut the same exact thing for the back because both front and back piece are going to be exactly the same. So I cut that out and I divided my dart. So we're going to start joining these, and we're going to be joining the front piece first. Join it, join the darts back together, and you're going to repeat this step for both the front and the back piece. Same thing. So, after I finished doing that, this was the um, outcome. After I finished joining my darts, this was the outcome for both the front and the back piece. So, I'm just going to join my side seams together. So, this is what we have. So the next thing we're going to do is to finish the neckline and the armhole. So I cut out a very long strap of fabric and the wideness I used um, 1.5 inch, but you can use 1 inch if you're using it to finish the neck. But if you're using it for the armhole, you can use 1.5. So I measured the neckline and I cut out the same length of strap as the neckline. So I'm just going to join that front side facing front side because I want the finish to be at the back. So I joined that by with half an inch, I joined the um, strap to the neckline. You're using it like a bias to just finish the neckline. So I <clears throat> joined that then, I folded it backwards. Just fold half inch in and then fold it down again. Like you're folding a bias. Like just imagine you're using a bias. We're using the strap as a bias in this um, case. So I folded that down. <clears throat> ah, my voice is cracking. So I, I folded that down and I just repeated the same thing for the other side, which is the same thing for the front and the back. Yeah, so that's how it looked when I finished. The finish is at the back. You get the top section was at the back. Well, if you want that to be in the front, it's just the opposite way around. You're going to sew at the front and take it to the back. So, um, next thing I did was to measure out the armhole the same way I measured the neckline. Measure around the armhole to see the length of the armhole. And I had 11 inches there. So, to that 11 inches, I'm going to add 7 inches extra to the length. So, that's going to serve as the strap that's going to connect the front piece to the back piece. So, I cut out um 18 inches for my strap. Cut that out and then just join join it together to form like um a long a circle bias that's that's actually something in fashion anyways 
Then I'm going to join this um, front side facing back side, like the front to the wrong side. You get because when you turn that over, it's going to come to the front side. I want that finish to be at the front side. So I just joined it half inch all the way around the armhole. And then we still have excess, which is going to be for the strap. Yeah. So I'm going to fold that towards the front, fold it half inch down, and then fold it over the seam that you just sewed to cover that up. And I'm going to top stitch on this very close to the edge. Very, very close to the edge. You can do this slowly. You don't have to rush. Just very close to the edge. And then you get to the strap. Carefully sew down on the strap to back to the point where you started. So I did that for the both, um, for the both armholes. Then I wanted this um, V-shape like in the picture. I wanted that V-shape, like that corset look, so I shaped that out and I cut it out. So I forgot to film when I finished the down, but I basically just weaved it and folded it in with half an inch. That's how I finished the um, hem of this. So that's it. Very easy top to make. Very, very simple. Didn't take me up to um, an hour to make this top. 30 minutes tops, I think. So this was the final look. So it was the final um look for the singlet. And I slapped a crop hoodie on that. This was actually a three-piece. And you're going to see the um three-piece at the end. And my customer actually really liked this top. Like, she liked the full look. This was her. She was very excited when she tried it on. So if you want to see how I made the, um, the hoodie, comment in the comment section. Subscribe. Turn on your post notifications and don't forget to like and share this video. Bye guys.